The warm window door series features a 24 mm thermomost. The most commonly available on the market are window door series equipped with a thermo barrier measuring exactly 24 mm in thickness. What is thermomost? Now, this is the small black element and there is a window located in the section. Alutec 62, Seat 60 and Elumark 54, they all have Internal thermal bridge measuring 24 millimeters. This thermos is made using a material called polyamide, which has excellent insulating properties. Uh, uh, this material possesses a high level of thermal insulation and does not allow cold temperatures to pass through. Accordingly, here is an external aluminum cup and an internal aluminum cup. They have a special groove here into which this thermomost is inserted and then also rolled, clamped on a special machine for sealing. As per the instructions, we have two aluminum halves, between which a 24 mm polyamide thermosetting material is securely clamped. 95% of the indicators for heat transfer resistance of the structure depend on the size of this thermal bridge for the heat transfer resistance. Tell us if CLKP40 is warmer or colder than Alutec based on the length of the window, as the longer it is, the warmer it will be. But you can't say that because uh, they will be the same. They all have a thermostat of 24 millimeters. Approximate heat transfer resistance reading 0.6. This is with a 32 double chambered insulating glass unit with energy saving glass. There are Lutec test protocols that confirm, and Ciala too, that there will be indicators around 0.6. Here are some pictures depicting the actual appearance of the subject in real life. Window entrance, portal gateway, access opening, door entrance way, window pane doorway, gateway passageway. There are systems available on the market for installing PVC fittings. These systems are offered by both Alutec and Ciala, and they are specifically designed to facilitate the installation process. That is, here on the sash, there is a special groove designed for the installation of PVC fittings. What was the reason for doing this? It was primarily done in order to lower the cost of the structure and achieve a reduction in costs. First of all, for object-oriented solutions. Maybe you heard on the internet, you can read, there is such an aluminum association of Russia, which actively promotes on the market, together with manufacturers, the so-called people's window. And this is the people's window, which the association dedicated to aluminum recommends that developers of multi-story buildings opt for aluminum structures over PVC for enhanced durability and sustainability. The price difference is not significantly large. However, aluminum is more durable. Additionally, it is less susceptible to the effects of the environment, the sun, and other factors. He won't fade. Nothing happens to him. It won't sag. This window lasts 50, 100 years. No issues occur with it. In accordance with this, they made efforts to minimize expenses and devised a passport made of PVC hardware to achieve cost reduction. We will also execute this solution. Currently, he is not in Indro, but in case there is a requirement, we can calculate it through the project department to comprehend the disparity in cost. But we don't know it there in the near future. Three to four months after episode 72, we will definitely prescribe this solution and implement it in production, and thus we will be able to reduce the cost of the aluminum window by using PVC hardware. I can't say that it's much worse somewhere in principle. Both will work, but aluminum hardware, in some way or another, it seems to have a different appearance, giving the impression of being more costly and more exclusive. Next, examples, systems with 34 mm thermoset, Alutec 72, CL70, Alumark 70. In principle, the depth of the system corresponds to the depth of the frame structure. Seven two seventy and here 270. They all have a thermocouple of 34 millimeters in all systems. Consequently, there is no distinction whatsoever between 62 and 72 in aluminum profiles. As a result, these aluminum cups have remained unchanged. Just instead of the 24th thermocouple, they inserted the 34th one here. And in doing so, they enhanced the thermal resistance performance of the structure. 
Certainly there are extra elements present. This is a bigger seal. Here beneath the double glazed window, there exists a soft foam gasket. There are extra items in addition to the thermostat. And thanks to this, the thermal resistance of such structures with 32 energy saving double glazed windows is about 75 according to the test protocol respectively it is already at the level of a normal pvc window and it will stand nothing will freeze and it is a big myth that aluminum is not as warm as pvc in fact an aluminum window can be made and provide sufficient insulation not worse than the indicator even superior in certain cases we will reach our destination eventually without a doubt this is the appearance of it in reality in a particular area there is also the option of placing these rotating components amidst the thermocouples internally uh, you can use these elements you can do without them it also depends on the indicator what value of heat transfer resistance needs to be achieved These are exclusive systems that are not accessible or obtainable for purchase on the Russian market. Instead, there are analogs present, however, I will demonstrate further, as it is simply packed with examples. Here, the thermal resistance can be increased by one unit, depending on the window unit and the manner in which it is installed. Generally, the thermal resistance of the structure is determined by two indicators that contribute to its overall heat transfer characteristics. This is the glass unit and the profile system. That is, by increasing the double glazed window, its depth, then adding a warm frame, argon, energy saving, multifunctional glass. Increasing the temperature leads to a corresponding increase in the indicators of the entire structure as a whole. Here is the Rainer CS104 Thermomost system as an example. The measurement is almost 50 millimeters specifically 50, 49, or 52, or something like that, the shock is exactly the same. These systems are super warm and exclusive, making them suitable for use in a private house. They are designed for individuals who have the financial means to afford an exclusive and cool product. In our market, there is a system known as Cial KPT82 that offers these unique features. This is even more sophisticated and classy than the highly acclaimed 72 series of Lutec technology. People don't have this. It only exists in soap operas. Accordingly, we also plan to implement this system in Vindrom and eventually write it down. She's depicted in the section, depicted as she appears in real life. There are four sealing contours and two special seals included. The thermostat has a depth of 82 millimeters while the other thermostat has a size of 44 millimeters. These measurements ensure proper sealing and temperature control. The seals and thermostats are crucial components for maintaining the desired conditions in the system. And between the thermal bridges, the foamed material is also inserted under the double glazed window. Accordingly, in this system, just like on exclusive Shuko and Renault, it is possible to achieve a transmission resistance index of one or higher. The window is exceptionally warm, emanating a comforting heat that envelops the room in a cozy and inviting embrace. From warm systems, you can also manufacture fixed, casement, top hung, pivot, tilt, and turn windows in addition to other types. And just like in the cold series, there are also warm connectors that are reinforced. This is simply a straight connector that joins two structures together in a seamless and reliable manner. Or is it a bay window reinforced connector? The outcome hinges on the magnitude of wind loads. Operating characteristics, dynamic effects of the door and so on. That is, if you have an input group, for example, not from a rack and pinion system, but from a regular window door instead. The door on the left right are solid parts. On top is a solid part. So if it is high, about 3.54 meters, it is recommended to install such a reinforcement on the left and right of the door. And then when closing the door, the structure will be rigid. It will not sag, shake, the double glazed windows won't crack, etc. Theoretically, 